Hey, good afternoon, friends. <laughs> Gotta see what I got going on here. Make this a little bit tip down. I see where my edge is at. I'm gonna try something totally new and different today. I'm excited to show you guys. Oh my gosh, I found myself right away. Make sure that's off. So I'm really looking forward to taking a look at this. As you know, our kit sale is going to be um, over soon. And this is one of those kits that's on sale that, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. And then I saw my friend Regina made it. And I thought, that's really cute. And I have a sister who is totally the, like, green thumb girl. Oh, my gosh. Like... She's not related to me. She can't be because uh, I certainly can't do what she does. And so we're going to take a look at this and see what it's all about. Apple changed my avatar. Or somebody changed my avatar. So I'm not totally sure what I think right now. <laughs> Say hello when you get here. Join me now. We'll give everybody a few minutes to just kind of get on. I have to fill my combo up so it will kill a little bit of time here. And I have been sharing. This doesn't like look straight, but I know it is because all of my lines and stuff line up. Anyway, I have been trying my darndest to get all of these DYA things and you know I've gone nuts with the kits. Hey Sue, how are you today? Thank you for claiming your prize. I need to, um, this weekend, I need to get as many mailed out as that have been claimed. Decided to go through and sort all this emails at one time. So you might have your cards that you want included in that this weekend. I need to order more Tombo. The story of my life. Adhesive. Hmm. Hey Maureen, how are you? This is what's not even. All right, let's get this. Hey Dai Dai. Welcome, welcome everybody on my holiday cards. So I'm using the card boxes and um, that birthday kit, the like birthday organizer notebook kit, which is uh, those, um, I think the card one is the new card box that's the pretty, pretty blue is on sale for like 10% off. But that notebook that has, I don't have it because it's gone. That notebook that has a couple, you know, like a perpetual calendar notebook, it's on sale for more and a great gift. I mean, who doesn't need a perpetual calendar with everybody's important dates on it? All right, so we've given people a few minutes to hop on here. I'm glad you're doing good, that's like awesome. We're gonna use our, make sure you guys can't see my numbers. We have surprise gifties today because this is a kit that's gonna be a present for our surprise gifties. Hmm. I'll, I'll label them. So we're going to be looking at the Happy House Plants kit, and that is sixteen thirty eight seventy three. So sixteen thirty eight seventy three, and like I said, I've gotten this. I'm actually going to keep the box to wrap up everything. So let's take a look what we got in here. Shoot, the frames alone might be worth purchasing the kit. So there are actually four frames in here. So let's get this out of here. I need to tack that down. This thing wants to squiggle. Be sure to share this. Love this video. Share this video. And remember, I have referral gifts for new people. I feel like this is absolutely not clear. But on the iPad, it looks clear. Must be the pixelation on the other one. All right, just something really quick. Do I want to 
go to here. I want to check something really quick. I'm just curious about the cost of this kit so that I can share with you. And it's under the crafting kits. It's not under card kits and that. It's under crafting gifts. So it's $25. It's $22.50 on sale. But you get these four frames, which I'm going to guess alone are probably worth the... Oh, good. Thanks, Di. Hey, Dina, I saw that, um, your question about the August class. And I will get that figured out for you. I'm not sure where it went either. I thought I'd put it up on YouTube and sent you guys a private link. Hello, Maureen. Thanks for letting me know, Di, my technical support girl. Okay, can't do this. Where's my blue tape? Painter's tape is the uh, solution to everything for me. And in case you didn't know this, you can... Um, Make it less tacky just by running against your skin. So I'm just going to do this to keep this sucker from running all over the place. And then, all right, that should hold it. Well, <laughs> take this off of it. Hey, Bernice. Look at, yeah, I, no, it's not there because I went to YouTube to get it for you and it's not there. So I must have done it in my sleep, which I do a lot of things in my sleep. So I just need to go figure out why it didn't get loaded up. Okay. So these are actually a wood frame and they're, they're a decent construction and they have a plexiglass or acrylic front to it which has got a film on it to keep it from getting scratched. So that's really cool. 22 bucks for four frames. Even if you don't do the um, crafty house, I'm sorry, the, um, I call this kit. If, even if you don't put the happy house plants in it and you use this to make six by six, cause I'm pretty sure it's six by six little mini layouts or, or whatever, um, yeah, so if you do a six by six, it's great. Um, I used to have a calculator over here because I'm always having to use a calculator to figure out my kit costs. All right, let's do something really quick. I just want to figure this out. So 22.5 divided by four is $5.63 per frame. Personally, I think that's pretty inexpensive. I don't know if anybody who shops for frames has a, a weigh-in on it, but that's pretty pretty inexpensive. You've got your piece of cardboard to not. It's not um, definitely was there to keep those. Hi, Miss Connie. How are you? How, how's your work week been, you guys? I had a sick kid today. We got um, our, she got some shots yesterday. She had her 16-year-old shots. Okay, no, I'll figure it out because I'm puzzled, guys. So let's see what we got. We have four of these designs. Oh, and we have frames too. So we have four, four frames and these are pretty thick um, for mats. And here is this. We have some punch outs. There's gotta be directions in here somewhere. We have a nice six by six piece of thick chipboard. I keep those, I like those pieces. And okay, here's our instructions. You guys are guinea pigs. Okay, so we have a frame, we have a mat for each one of these, and this tells us how to sort our goodies out. So I'm just going to, let's see, this is probably better for you guys right here. All right, so I'm going to just make sure I have them all in the right line. There we go. All right. 
This looks like lettuce leaves. I mean, I know it's not lettuce, but it kind of looks like lettuce, you guys. I'm going to punch these out and sort out my pieces. Um, it's nice. I would definitely um, have the dimensionals, and I probably would have extra dimensionals. They give you a set here. But um, in just looking at how I operate, I you know like a lot of dimensionals. And I'm just looking at the piece and I'm matching up the piece to the project that it goes on. Is this an, looks like it might be an aloe plant. I'm not 100% sure. This is a little basket that goes with what I am calling my lettuce leaves. This looks like a hosta plant. This one. And here is another piece to the hosta plant. And this goes to the hanging plant. And then there's, that goes. All right, guys, so you have some negative images, which you could try and use for something. I'm telling you right now, my goal is to get a bunch of this stuff done because I'm so far behind on all these kits that I've got to do because I am kit crazy right now. Okay, let's flip this over. So that's all sorted. So I've done that part of the kit. And this is how I would suggest that everybody do their kits, get their pieces out, sort them out. Oh, how cool is that? You actually have a ruler on here, you guys. Um, a 10 inch on this side and a metric on the other side. Hmm. That's pretty fancy. All right. So I'm going to make all of these and then we're going to put them in the frames. This says that this is the piece down. This is the first piece down, and it looks like that we are going to put dimensionals on the back of all of these. So let's do that. Have your nonstick scissors available for trimming. Because, yeah. So has anybody done this? Are they in the Piper Pumpkin kits? I have never noticed it before. Just caught my eye as I was. Isn't it funny how this stuff escapes your notice and then, then you find it at the oddest times. And remember, if you've got some showing, you can always like trim it off with your nonstick. I definitely want to use nonstick for this. And then you can just trim it. There we go. Not quite exactly how I wanted it, but that's the cost of doing things live. You noticed it in last month's kit, so I'm not like, um, maybe it's something new that I just did. Well, that's entirely possible. Um, whoops, this piece is the last piece. So this piece goes on first. And line it up with the bottom of this and kind of make sure that you can see the different leaves. And this is supposed to go on top of that. And then you're supposed to have this go right on top of that. I, I don't know that I don't mind this part of it. I don't know that I like this sticking out over the top of that. That does not. I like the dimension. I need to think about this for a second. Hmm. Surgery time. Should not put this back into there. I use rice in my. I, all right, that is not coming up, guys. So we will forget this. I will next time check and see what I think of things. And I cannot make this work like further along the pot, can I? Nope. Hmm. I have to think about this because I'm not so. 
Oh, my fingernail is coming off. Not my fingernail, it's off the polish on it. All right, I need not to spend this much time analyzing things. Where is my thin 3D foam tape? Let me see if that will work if I put that there. And I'm gonna put that up there. I think I can make that work. Okay. And this little tiny piece has to come off here to make this work. Hey, Pat, how are you doing? And they did turn, they turned out, well, I'm excited. Actually, you know, you know Jackie guy. Hopefully she will not watch this live before Christmas. There, that gives it some dimension. It's a little bit over what I want it to be. And this is now set up because I took the adhesive off of that to go up front or to go up over the top and make it look nice. I'm just gonna put some adhesive on this. These um, dimensionals are very sticky. Just as an FYI, they uh, they work very well, and they're pretty on once they're on, which is you got know, its pluses and minuses. All right, because I've done this, I am going to come and trim this up so that it goes into, and my sister will not notice this, but I want to make sure I don't cut that off, so that it just kind of comes out of that. Oh, yay for Halloween. I've got to make um, some more, too. I thought I had enough, but I don't. It's kind of one of those weird things. Mm. So this frame, like I said, it's pretty thick. We'll do all the framing last. That sticks out. That's pretty cool. All right, so then we're going to go to our hanging baskets. I love hanging baskets. I don't know about y'all. But they are super fun. I have two of these. Okay, I'm going to do this differently. This piece has to go on. And it is supposed to be popped up. And I'm going to use the regular dimensions, dimensionals to pop. But I'm going to do something different with the... Um, I am going to use this. Yep. So please love this video, guys, and share it out. I would really appreciate it. And if you introduce me to a new friend who becomes my customer and orders, I have a special thank you for you guys. Okay. Next is this, which looks like boy, this. This is supposed to like go like, whoops. What are these, Die? You know this stuff. You're a plant lady. And I'm gonna, I am moving to um, Close to My Heart's Thin 3D Foam Tape. And I, I think maybe we've talked about this, maybe we haven't. The dimensionals are like in between the 3D foam tape. And it's actually, I've had a lot of fun with being able to create some different looks using three different widths or heights or whatever you, thicknesses would be the probably the politically correct term. To do this, and you wouldn't have it without having both. So I hope that someday I can kind of figure out where this Close to My Heart got their tape from. Because I really do like it. I, you know, I can't tell you that that's what it is. But I would trust you to have it right over me any day. I mean, I have enough time trouble just remembering that I have rhododendrons and azaleas and the differences and all of that it's and all the different types of um pastas 
yeah dimensionals are nice and I, and I love having the thin 3d foam tape which is going to allow me to pop this into here and be a little bit you know kind of on the down oops I didn't put any I don't, I'm trying to put this up just kind of scooches over the top it needs to go tuck under Okay, so this is going to be down, but then I can come through and I can take this one and I can pop it up again with thin 3D foam tape here and I'm going to get that dimensional look without it um, dominating. Oh, that might be good, Die. Has anybody put this together? I, I've seen it be put together. I'm just curious if anybody's had the chance to put this together. Before you put on kind of the rest of your dots, kind of like know where you're going. I, so I'm going to be sad when I run out of all of my tapes from close to my heart. So if anybody wants to move to Vancouver, the house next door went up for sale. If anybody's interested. It's, it's nice here. It's chillier. It's much more laid back. Okay. And that by doing this, I now have an extra height in there. I have three different heights. I don't know if you can see that between what the back layer, the front layer, and then the layer for the um, pot. Fun. Scooch that over with its frame. <laughs> the other issue you're so funny die 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 you're cute but yes I can do you have a plant person in your life that would benefit from this so now that I've decided I'm going to do these multiple those frames need some color yeah it is interesting to have them be white, isn't it? I mean, these could almost have been mini dimensionals. I should get my minis out because honestly, the minis would work better in this situation. Ooh, of course, when I don't need the minis, all I can find is the minis. And now that I don't need the mini or don't need the big ones and want the minis, I can't find it. Here we go. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Oh, I'm not going to backtrack a little bit. And I said, these dimensionals are really ultra sticky, guys. All right, this one is going to go here, and we need to make sure that we turn it so that it looks right. Your big leaf is up on top, and this leaf is right here, and this is going to go over the bottom of that leaf a, a little bit. Okay. And this leaf is going to go like this. Nope. Oh, whoops, the bigger leaf comes in first. I'm going to do this, and it's going to go up here like this. And so I'm going to put my smaller. I want this to be able to go over the top. Definitely like the smaller dimensionals for this. Less trimming to get this where I want it. Yeah, so my whole new thing is to really try and 
make gifts and I'm ordering, you know, a couple crafty things and I got some pampered chef, but I'm really trying to support my small business friends. Um, this year as much normally I do, but I want to do more than so I'm trying to do that. All right. So there's that. And then this piece, gosh, this makes it look really nice and fluffy. Is that a word? Fluffy. Hey, Jenny. So would you do them in green or what would you do them in? Um, I'm talking to Connie as far as the mats. How would you... Um, I can figure out mats if I'm looking like at the you know where I'm able to like match colors okay remember guys if you were a winner which is everybody because you've ordered for me and you crossed over from close to my heart to CTMH that you guys don't have that much more time to claim your gifts. And I have a whole bunch that are not claimed. Those of you guys who claimed your gift, the goal is, is to start getting those out of here on Saturday. I always had great plans. Sarah Grace um, got a few shots. Her flu and all of that kind of stuff. And she is not feeling the hottest today. And I crawled in the bed and of course then I'm awake. Made her stay home and just take the day off. I mean, I think maybe, well, because the only thing I would worry about a brown, but this brown might work since all of them have this brown like in there. Okay. So this one I'm relatively positive is a hosta. That's sad. Four plants. You didn't follow the directions. <laughs> Love it. So you've done this one already? So this is going to go first, and it's going to be... Like that. And then this is going to get poked out right here. So we are going to use some of these. Flip that up there so because I can see where they're going to go. Bigger dimensionals here because these are much bigger leaves. Let me see how that works. I'm going to need a little bit under this one for claiming. Ah, uh, yes. You need to message me with your address and that you're claiming from the giveaway, um, the incentive trip celebration. Nice. Oh, whoops, I want to, I want to do my skinny Oh my goodness, these guys are not cooperative. All right, we're almost done, but I, I just wanted to show you this stuff, guys, because it really makes things really easy to do, and that's really cool. I'm going to put that there, because I know I'm going to cover that up, but I'm going to be doing this on top of that. I want to show you a little trick that I'm going to do with this. Terracotta. So you would kind of pick up that. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Because it will go with the green and the brown. It adds a little bit of color to it. And listen to us. So now I'm adding this. And I'm going to be putting it on top of that. And I have a little runaway part that doesn't belong on here. So I'm going to need to put just a little bit of this thinner 3D foam tape on top of that dimensional that I put in there to do the next height, see? And now it will all be the same height here. 
So we distinctly have three different heights. And I just think that's such a cool idea. And I now have a bunch of these stickies. All right. So let's get busy with these. We'll do this backwards. Get all of our 3D foam tape out of here. Now, these are your traditional frames that would work like this. So just carefully push these up so that you don't knock them out. Pull that out like that. This frame is going to come out and it looks like this is on both sides. So there you go. Be careful not to straight the acrylic up when you do this. So pick a corner that will be by and large hidden if you do scratch it. This peels off much better than some of the stuff that we have in close to my heart. Put this down. And you don't have to worry about the static in this. Okay, this is the hanger if they choose to hang it. So make sure that you're paying attention to this. You're gonna lay this down flat first. Then you're gonna put this in there. I'm telling me these things are staticky, just like that. And then you have this. Look at this, you guys. This is really cute. How about, you know, office gift, housewarming gift. Um, this would be great for a coworker. And look at that. I don't think this looks bad. And actually, I didn't say this, but you could do three of these up and, or four of these, and uh, give one each away to people. You don't, nobody says you have to give all four. I mean, I'm going to do that, but because my sister, I kind of have an idea about what I want for her to, or how she should do this, you know. Not that she'll listen to me, but you never know. Hey, Pat. Okay, so then you're going to take your next picture. And guys, so far, we started this um, 23 minutes ago. We actually started this project 23 minutes ago. And think how fast this would be if you're not explaining every step and you're just doing it. You know, turn on the TV, do some stuff. Look at that. So stinking cute, you guys. Trying to think about who else might really like something like this. It's a lot nicer. And honestly, I had not thought about doing this until Regina took a picture of hers for me, Maureen, and said, look at how cute these are. Um, college dorm is uh, what she did to pick one of them. The name of this kit, Pat, is Happy House Plants Kit. It's $22.50 right now, normally $25. So it's on the sale. And I've, I've been trying to show the kits that I have been like, oh, well, that's kind of cute. Or, you know, ones I hadn't done, but I ordered some in because of the sale. I want to share what I'm learning with you guys. Look at that. And then I'm going to be doing a 31 Days of Christmas. Look at that, you guys. I mean, I just think... Especially, yeah, I, I did the math, um, Pat, for earlier. These frames are really nice frames with the acrylic fronts. They're five. If you just take the twenty-two fifty and divided it by four, they're like um, each project is five dollars and sixty-two cents. You know, and then of course you add your shipping, handling, and tax in on it. Uh, that's really an inexpensive gift, and if you had somebody uh you could do you could split these up and give one away to you know like co-workers to hang on their little cubicles with my sister I, I have a kind of she's got a hallway that i think these will look really cute in these would be great in someone's bathroom 
Um, and I personally am trying to figure out every way that I can to make my Christmas gifts. It's been a number of years since I've had the ability to just make my Christmas gifts for people. So I'm really excited to be able to do this for my family and friends. And I'm really lucky that some of the kits that have shown up, like uh, my mother-in-law, I'm making her a card box and I'm doing some extra kit, um, two extra kits of cards in there. So she's got lots of thinking of you and some masculine cards and um, splitting them up. Look at that, you guys. What do you think? Whoop. I just think even if you got it just because the frames, you're like, I do not like these crazy plants. The frames alone, and you could paint these frames very easily. And maybe that's the that's the other choice, um, Connie. Is maybe not um, not worrying so much about the frame, but or the mat, but do the frame a different color. I mean, you could do this in a pretty blue. I mean, that there's a lot of possibilities with just changing that piece of it, which I. I wouldn't have even thought of until you guys talked about it. That's that's great. Okay, guys, so we have mystery envelope time. Your um, kit sale is going to end here on the 31st. So make sure you go take a look at those kits that are on sale. The older kits are up to like 30% off. Right? I just, I think it's so wonderful. Got that to the side. All right, we need to put some numbers on here in case there's any Insta winners mysteries. I'm going to put one, two, and you're going to go from one to 30. You're welcome, Maureen. Thanks for joining, Maureen. I always love seeing you on here. Love seeing everybody. Okay. All right, guys. Time to give me some numbers for those of you guys who want to participate in this. All right, 24 is die, 22 is packed. Some of you guys need to go low. These guys are on the upper end of life. You know, a little hint is, is there's always one number between 1 and 10 and one number between what, 10 and 15, or this is dead. <laughs> Hey, my first Insta winner is Sue. You can tell me which number you want. Try this again. 21 is Bernice. Pat. Holy cow, guys. Pat. 21 is Bernice. 8 is Sue, and she is an instant winner. Let me put your name over here. And you can pick... Uh, Jenny is going to be 14. Uh, Pat said 2. Okay, I'm confused. Pat said 2. Pat Henderson has 22 down and Pat or Patty has 16. Um, you want number three. Oops. Let me put your name on that, Sue. And it will go out with your prize from our um, celebration. So I'm going to put that over here. We have one and two. Okay. So Sue is off the board. All right, guys, let me... Oh, no worries. You're, you're fine. My next winner is Jenny Moore. And my next winner is Pat. You're just a little bit over, my friend. Um, I just a little bit over. So Pat Henderson, Jenny Moore, and Sue, you, um, Pat and Jenny, every time you win, you need to send me your um, mailing address via private messenger, Facebook messenger, no matter what, just um, send it. Even if you think I have it just because it's easier for me to write it for messenger than it is to find it again. And you have, okay. Which means Pat 
Henderson. Yes, congrats. Thank you everybody for joining. It's always so much more fun when we have a group on here. I have a quick question. How many of you guys think it would be good to do one at night, one of these at night and one during the day? Kind of vary up our times a little bit. It's not a good idea, bad idea. So think on it, send me a message. Um, let me know what you think. And here is a Christmas present done in 30 minutes for $22.50. Ladies, you can't beat it, even if you just want the frames. Take care. See you on Monday for sure.